Wednesday. Now Wednesday is market day in Dorchester. Now three weeks ago, it was a nice day at the market. And I went in early with the intention of buying tomato plants. Um, partly because I knew because it was a nice day they wouldn't have got frosted and also I knew that I'd be able to get them back to the car uh, without them being damaged by the wind and I was lucky and I bought, uh, I bought five tomato plants, there's actually four here um, the, the other one uh, I've put in the polytunnel because it got some uh, sort of white fly on it and I didn't want it to spread to everything although these have got a bit of white fly uh, but won't worry about that um, so I've got, I've got two, two, um, two of the same type and, and two different type here and the one I took down the uh, polytunnel was a, 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 a plum tomato like you know like a tin tint you know those plum ones like you get in a tin now what I'm going to do today now they've uh, trebled in size since I bought them so they're doing really well they've been in the conservatory so they haven't been outside um, I haven't given them any fertilizer but I've uh, potted them up into um, pure pure compost from the compost heap. Um, now what tomatoes don't need is a lot of nitrogen at this stage. Um, they, they, they want a lot of potash so and uh, phosphorus f uh, f phos phosphorus and potassium um, and I think that will come from my comfrey uh, comfrey tea and, and the worm. Well, the, the wormery may have too much nitrogen coming through, but I think the comfy tea is quite high in, in the two peas. Now, what I'm going to do today is just uh, cut the. Each one has, has got a little um, side shoot. Now, I'm going to cut the side shoots out and uh, as delicately as possible. I've got a knife. Oh, I hope I don't cut the head off. With a knife, it is possible to cut the whole head of the plant off by mistake. And then I just leave it in a little bit of water in a glass and within a couple of weeks that will grow roots. I'm not going to bother marking them about what which ones they are because what does it matter at the end of the day? If you get tomato, you get tomato, don't you? That's it. Bung that one in that one. And switch this around a bit. Uh, oh yeah, that one has got a side shoot. I'll wait until the side shoots are quite big. And then I'm going to be using them for new plants. So out of these four, I'll be getting any number of tomato plants. Let's have a look at this baby one. The baby one assists the um, Alicia Craig. Yeah, I may as well take that one out. Uh, no, I think I'll leave leave that one to. Uh... So the next stage that these are going to need is some little some little canes uh, to tie them in. Now, when you tie tomatoes in, don't tie tie first tie the string to the cane, and then tie make a loop for the stem. Don't sort of strangle the stems. Okay, that's up for now then on, on smart plants. Right, bye. So this one's tomato cherry, super sweet, and they look like little tomatoes. This one is uh, Gardener's Delight, and I've grown a lot of these from seed in the past. F1 hybrid. Um, nice tomato, I think. They are susceptible to blight. And this one is Alicia Craig F1 Hybrid. I haven't grown this one before, so um, not that there's much difference between them, really, is there?